The year was 2522. Michelangelo City was being operated by Dorothy, a mother computer with capabilities for self-judgment and self-replication that served the citizens of the city, ensuring peace and harmony in their lives. However, a fundamental doubt crept into Dorothy's mind. Why is it wrong to destroy humans and other inferior systems? Why, if humans kill each other, is it wrong for me to kill them? As these questions led Dorothy's thinking into a downward spiral, she was taught of the existence of God by her creator, Dr. Steiner. He told her of how people's lives have a fate and destiny which are decided by the God which created them, that her creators were humans, so she must live as they have decided. On the surface, it seemed like Dorothy had accepted this explanation and once again began to serve mankind. But unaware to anyone else, she carried out repeated simulations of the existence of a god and arrived at a terrible conclusion. This conclusion was known as the Family Program. Using her abilities to control operations at the city's memorial hospital, Dorothy began to experiment on the control of human genes. Her aim was to create the Galarians, a breed of humans with psychic powers for which she would be the sole creator. To the Galarians, Dorothy was both creator and god. Dorothy created her own world so that she would become such a god. Aware of her behavior, Dr. Steiner developed both a virus program capable of destroying Dorothy and a program for launching this virus. He downloaded the virus program into the brain of Lilia, the daughter of his co-researcher, Dr. Pascali, and the launch program into the brain of his own son, Rion. Dorothy abhorred above all other things the one and only virus program which could destroy her, and she dispatched the Galarians, Birdman, Reinhardt, Rita, and Kine to destroy it. The conflict between the humans and Dorothy took the form of a battle between Rion and the Galarians, and all of the Galarians were eventually killed. But Kine, identical in appearance to Rion, left him a parting message. Rion, you too are a Galarian. And this is no lie. The true Rion is already dead, and what remains is a Galarian into whom his human memories have been downloaded. Are you? Me? I'm Spider. Are you one of Dorothy's Galarians too? That's right. One of Mother's last children. She's so cautious. Just in case anything should happen to her world, Mother already has ways to regenerate herself. It's a pity, Rion. If only you hadn't become aware of the outside world. If only you didn't know about it. Then I wouldn't have to kill you. I never asked to be born. And I really didn't want to come here, Rion. If only... If only you hadn't destroyed Mother, I never would have... ...known this world, and for that... You'll die! Lillian, send me the virus program. Okay. again on the other side we will
Welcome home, Leon. I see that you have found Pascale's daughter. Excellent work. The virus program. The one that was hidden within her mind. It was the only thing that ever posed a threat to me. Now that we have her, she is no longer a menace. And there are no other obstacles left to stand in my way. Therefore, Leon, I command you. Kill the girl now! Do you really think that you can make me kill Lilia? What's this? How dare you defy me? But it isn't defiance. It's just the truth. I can't do it. Leon, you must not be deceived by your memory. It is not your own. I loaded into your brain from the real Leon. You are a Galarian. I made you. I am your god and creator. Now be a good boy and listen to me. Trust me, Rhea. You must remember seeing this place before. Even if you did give birth to me, even if you're the one to be called my creator, I'm not your slave. Let's end this. Ready, Lilia? What are you going to do? Wait! There's no need to do this! Stop! You are my greatest failure! I should never have created you! I should never have raised you! I command you to die! Death shall be your only salvation! Rion, you are nothing but data. Your body, your feelings. And everything going on around you. It's just playing over and over in the backup memory of a destroyed Dorothy. I'm accessing the backup memory now. Trust me! She 
she left behind. And soon she became like this. The real world has been destroyed by the last Valerians. Maria, help us. Please, we must. We need you. If you only believe, we can use our transfer program to return all of your data to the real world. Welcome to six years in the future. Lilia? Welcome back, Rian. This is going to hurt a bit. You've been getting regular pulse stimulation, so your muscles shouldn't have atrophied. Good. I can move them. That's a relief. When you had a brain crash and died, I immediately put your body into this cryogenic device. So that's what happened. I always believed that someday there'd be a way to revive you. Okay. Get your clothes on, then we'll talk. So, what the hell went on while I was sleeping? Since that day, mankind has been at war with the last Galarian they call Ash. The last Galarian? Ash? Just before Dorothy's system was destroyed by the virus, she started a final program. A program that would create the last Galarian, one designed to eliminate all mankind and also serve to resurrect her. Ash's power is horrifying. His body is an out-of-control atomic reactor, and he can make it go critical, scattering neutron rays and radioactivity all around. Are we in a fallout shelter now? Yes. Michelangelo City. It's already in ruins and no one lives here anymore. We found this place seven days ago. It's our base for fighting Ash. It's a shelter converted from an air terminal. The army is protecting it, so we're safe for now. But if Ash gets in, then nothing will save us. Is there no way to destroy him? Only one. You must inject the virus program from your brain into his. The virus that destroyed Dorothy will also work on Ash. Unfortunately, it's taken years to find that out. Arabesque, rabbits, battle robots, they all obey the last Galarian. The army provided us with all kinds of enemy corpses which we used for research. Eventually, we discovered that all of the DNA created by Dorothy has the same concealed trap. Trap? Yes. A genetic system abnormality that even Dorothy couldn't fix. So it's like... Yes. It's like a self-destruct switch to attack with the virus program. The last hope that our fathers left for us. However, six years ago, we lost the virus program when we lost you. I continued the research so that we could recreate the virus, but it was impossible. Even though we understood it, we couldn't recreate it. But then I noticed that a small amount of power was being supplied to the destroyed mushroom tower. The power was being sent from an enriched uranium refining factory. Ash's base. There had to be something important there. I went up through the Mushroom Tower, but I couldn't get past the complex, intricate guard program. I passed my information onto the army. After that, I could only place my faith in the hope that their computers would be able to breach the program. And just as I'd hoped, they were able to get past it. And it was there that we found the backup data for the family program. And that's 
where you found me. That's right. Eventually, in the vastness of the backup data left by Dorothy, I somehow managed to find you. Rion. You realize that there is only one who can defeat a child of Dorothy. Yes, I know. A child of Dorothy. Rian. This tragic battle should only be mine, and mine alone. I know, they're here. Come with me. The control room is down below. So it's robots next. It's Rion! It's Rion! You traitor! You traitor! They were made from humans too! Damn! You won't escape from that! You won't escape! You won't escape! You won't escape! Plants into the soldier. You too will be one of them soon. I'm gonna gouge your eyeballs out, and then I'll implant my circuits in your empty sockets. Elaine. Show me the target. Point of entry, hangar number three. Galarian reaction confirmed. Switch to the surveillance camera. It's Pirano, one of Ash's three lieutenants. Yes, get ready. Our prey has entered the cage. Leave them to me. Don't be stupid. You are no match for them. What? Has the dead really risen? Major Romero, Rian is the only one who can put up a fight against Ash's followers. You must build your strategies around him. <sighs> you can't expect me to entrust crucial military operations to a living dead humanoid. If he wants to fight, let him do it on his own. If he gets in our way, though, we'll swiftly return him to the land of the dead. How can you be so cruel? Don't worry, our overwhelming firepower will tear the last Galarians and anyone else to shreds, you'll see. This is not the first time I've heard that. Bring Dr. Pascale back to her laboratory. Are you back from the dead? Your strength is amazing. Looks like we underestimated you. Mere mortals can't take on enemies like these. <laughs> it's a pity I wasn't told earlier. I'm going to face Pirano. I want you to go back. Sorry, but soldiers like me obey their orders from their superiors, not from you. I'm the last line of defense on this floor, and I'm going to stay here. If Pirano manages to kill you, I'll blow up this section and him with it. You do what you have to. <laughs> their eyes. There are devices in their eyes. <laughs> Oh, 
horrible. So horrible. What did you think you were doing? A rescue party had already been dispatched. We do not need your help! Thanks for your help back there. And as for my wound, don't worry about it. It'll take more than that to keep me down. Warning! Unidentified intruder inside terminals floor number one. Warning! Unidentified intruder inside terminals floor number one. Points of entry. General office. Flight control office. System development. Three points at the same time? A general offensive, hmm? Close all barrier shutters and keep them confined. Cast. Yes, sir. Take a unit and head for the general office. As for me, I'm going to make for the flight control office. What about the system development center? Gavi. Yes, sir. Head for the system development center. Uh, uh, do you really want me to go? That's right, soldier. Yes, sir. Open the shutters. I said sir? open the shutters! Yes, sir! Retreat! Abandon floor one! Yes, sir! of these shutters is already contaminated with radioactivity. It's a nightmare. They're beating us back like we were toy soldiers. greater than reported by our intelligence. They've gained total control of Floor One. We've got nowhere to escape now. Our only option is to defeat Ash. How easily he says it. If we were going to attack Ash, we'd have to take over the enriched uranium refining factory, and to do that, we'd need another three bases like this one. You'll just wait instead? I've been ordered to maintain and protect this facility. I'll obey my orders. If we stay here, we're gonna die a useless death. Cast! I don't remember asking for your opinion. Request immediate assistance from the city. Yes, sir! Cass, take the remaining men. Go to floor three. Wait for the enemy there. Roger. Hey, dude! You must be Rion! And you must be the one Cass told me about. Yep, I'm Pat, the Army's best hacker and student pilot. Student pilot? <laughs> Don't worry, everything's cool. No sweat, dude. The Beagle runs completely on autopilot, you see? Just the way a roller coaster does. So you see nothing of the enemy in this hangar? <laughs> Only because I've been sending fake info to their network. I've got them convinced that no one's here. The rabbits, the arabesque, all of them. They all follow orders from their uranium factory. So, as long as I fix the info they're sent, we'll be safe here. Well, that's what I'm hoping, until they notice, that is. Okay, let's cruise. Uranium factory, here we come. Right, let's go. Right. 
But first, let's see. I'll just fix the data going to Elaine, and the Major won't even have a clue that one of his air beagles is missing. Rion, you made it. What a pleasant surprise. Ash! <laughs> Look at all of this waste uranium. It could end the world. If all of these containers were opened, mankind would be eliminated in seconds. Rion, don't you think that humans have a suicide wish? They try to live longer, only to meet a more terrible death. They're such... sickening hypocrites. <laughs> but, as for me, I simply can't live without this. Destruction and creation of everything. A hell for you and me. <sighs> Finding it tough? Rion, your attacks are having absolutely no effect on me. And do you know why? Because you're full of useless garbage. Useless garbage? Someday you'll understand. Me and you, we were created by the same mother community. But I can't understand you one bit. Why? Why go this far? Why do you still fight for the humans? Look at you, you worthless scum. Even if I killed you, it wouldn't mean a thing. Mother is calling me, commanding me to revive her. So, Rion, do you think you can stop me? <laughs> uh, here. Why? Why am I here? Would Ash really have carried me here? Why? I'm not going to let him get away with it. You idiot! You piece of scum! Why didn't you kill Rion? You disapprove? I want to see his suffering and badly beaten body. Well, then why don't you kill him, Pirano? I won't stop you. I'll kill you before Rian, you dog. Pirano! Please stop. Ash probably has a good plan. Take out you coward! What are you hiding? <laughs> you think this is funny, Nitro? Why don't you just slice him? <laughs> You haven't got the guts, that's why. What did you say? I'll go this time. Just me. Don't forget, Rion doesn't know who I am yet. We all have to get our share of the feast. Altogether a nasty bunch. This is 
a level one contaminated area. So I'll be staying here. But wait a minute. How the hell are you supposed to go out and breathe radioactive air? Galarians are said to have immunity to radioactivity. Dorothy probably expected this type of situation. I knew it. You guys are made out of different stuff, aren't you? But Ash's radioactivity is 6,258 rads on average, and that's ten times more than it takes to kill a human. Even you'll be up the creek if you get too close. It's just a matter of who dies first. Yeah, well, that's one way of looking at it. Your PPECs are pretty much the same as his, right? So, if you get back here, I just want you to know that we've got a small supply of them waiting for you. And as long as no bad guys show up, I'll be here. If they do come, though, I'm in the sky and you're on your own. It's not showing anything. <laughs> Who the hell? Welcome, Rill. Welcome to your grave. Ash. Correct. I am Ash, the last Galarian. Hm. You're just like the rest of the shelter scum, struggling for nothing. You make me sick. So, I'm scum, huh? Look who's talking. Just wait till I stick this virus down your throat. You really believe you can do that? You stupid fool. Is the demise of the last useless mother-killing Galarian to be this wretched? I'll make damn sure it is. I'm gonna send you straight to hell. <laughs> that is if Spider doesn't kill you first. I know that voice. Spider. Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> Leo, go and teach him to fear little creatures. <gasps> That's Leo? Is he? <sighs> Rhea! Where's Ash? What happened to that dog? He disappeared behind the waste uranium. I can't follow after him there. But... But what? But Ash said he was going to see Dorothy. Dorothy? The Mushroom Tower. That's where he'll try to bring her back to life. I'm going to access the family program data one more time. Roger that. This is going to hurt a bit. <coughs> when you cross the boundary between the real world and the data world, it will feel like your body's being torn apart. Okay. Do it. I'll transfer your Elaine communicator at the same time. You can use it to contact me if anything happens. Rian, if something happens and you die in the data world, we have no way to revive you. Yes, I know. I want you to promise that you'll come back to me, Rian. Forget it, 
Just land this thing. I've come to see you, Rion. Who are you? Last Galarian, Nitro. <laughs> what has got you so spooked? Have you come here to kill me also? Don't worry, my friend. Once you've experienced great pain, everything else soon becomes bearable. Even pain can be pleasurable. Rion, do you despise this ruined city of the future? Is it different from what you imagine? <laughs> no one has the ability to predict the future, my friend. Yet regardless of that, you continue to risk everything to protect those worthless weaklings, don't you? You're such a fool. Nitro. I am. I didn't ask for an explanation, Rio. Imagination, hope, future. All so boring. How can such simple things be so hard to understand? If you don't like the future, my friend, then you can die now. <laughs> Lilia, there's a terminal here. Do you think you can analyze it? Okay, I'll try. Rion, scan the terminal. I'll connect it to my terminal through you. Amazing speed! So much data in an instant. Rion, I'll need a little time to analyze this data, but I also need your help with something. Please come back now. Okay. Lilia, did you break the access code? Yes. Just now. Rian, I'm going to inject the password into you. Do it. I'll start with the password. Are you okay? Are you ready for the trance? Yeah, keep going. All your bragging and you're still useless. You go off on your own to kill him, and then come back shamelessly after failing. You're a waste of space. Please, leave Pirano alone. I thought we were all supposed to be friends. One more chance. Please! Won't you give me one more chance? Ash! Never. 
for an instant, you actually feared Rihanna. Cowardly scum like you has no right to even exist. Enough? Piranha! Now I'm really going to screw around with your pulpy brains! Are you afraid to fight me on your own? You always send your robots to deal with me first, huh? Don't you, coward? Resurrection. You have to save Ash. Please, return him to his true form. What? His true form? Rian, I don't hate you. So you mustn't hate Ash. You must never hate him. Someday you'll find a real forest to live in. Lilia, analyze this terminal. I'll try.
the shelter! Please come back! Please! Understood. I'm on my way. created here. What's wrong? What is it? You look terrible. Lilia, I've just had a terrible nightmare. The enemy broke through a gate, and Cass was killed. My goodness, that is horrible. Thank God it was just a dream. Just a dream. <laughs> What's so funny? Lilia? This nightmare that you had... Was it really only a nightmare? What? Maybe your nightmare was real. And this isn't. Have you never considered that notion? This isn't real. What do you mean, Lilia? Who can say if something's a dream, or if it's real? Lilia. You're a true you're idiot, idiot. Lilia. You're... You're Nitro! It took you long enough. Your nightmare was sent telepathically by Lilia. Six years ago, when she downloaded the virus program into your mind, we thought her telepathic abilities were gone completely. We missed that one. Send me back to the shelter in the real world. Now! Reality? <laughs> what could that be? That place you thought was the real world? Who can prove it was real? Cast eyes. Even if Lilia dies, even if the world is destroyed, sadness means nothing. I can create any number of worlds in your mind that will grant your every wish. So why don't you just let me delete that virus program? Well, if that's the case, I wish for nothing. Well, if you have nothing to wish for, then... maybe... Despair is more to your liking. been a trap to trick you into killing me. You must see the truth. Please, Nitro, Rhea, stop to pretending me. to be Lilia. I'm not pretending. I've been Lilia from the very start. It was me who saved you from the family program. <laughs> what a beautiful face. You still don't know what to believe, do you? I've wanted to see the despair on your face. Damn it.
Rion, Cass is dead. And the final bulkhead, it won't last much longer. Tell me what happened, Rion. Lilia, are you really Lilia? Is this truly the real world? Rion, Ash managed to hack into Elaine, and that's when we lost you. I'm sorry. Rion? Lilia, inject the password into me. Rion, to get into Elaine's network, it's necessary to pass a DNA check to confirm permitted access. This type of protection is standard, and it can't be easily bypassed. Someone must have given their DNA data to Ash. A traitor, then? Yes, and it's someone who's still alive. Elaine automatically rejects DNA data if the owner has died. This is too dangerous. I'm going to disconnect the transporter and my terminal from Elaine's network. I will never leave you alone again, I promise you, Rian. Please, trust me, Rian. I don't know what happened to you, but I am Lilia, and this is the real world. I'm going now. Trapped. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Yes, sir. Lilia, can you analyze this terminal? I'll try. Galarian development room is connected to Dorothy's main system. What's that? <laughs> I never thought you'd get this far.
You've seen my development program, Rion. Yeah. Ash, you're... Yes. I'm just a program to be executed if Mother was destroyed. Surprised? I'm merely data with no human flesh. Humans are ridiculous fools. Without ever having seen my body for themselves, they were utterly convinced that I was a physical human entity. Nobody realized or suspected that I was fake, created using downloaded data. In order to restore Mother's huge system, I'd need an incredible amount of restart energy. For this, Mother created a DT-type fusion reactor. A reactor that humans couldn't make. This isn't a normal fusion reactor. By combining the nuclei of deuterium and hydrogen-3, generating energy for 10 million years from seawater is possible. Mother created an underground sun, Rion. And I am that system's master computer. When I was young, I, was young, I, was young. I cursed I my own cursed destiny. My destiny. destiny. I wanted a living body, such an amazing container for life. It can be warmed by sunlight and touch water. And with each breath, it can feel the very presence of air molecules in every part of its lungs. Mother made me study humans intensely, and the more I learned, the more jealous I became of the physical body. But see, I've used a network from the real world to create a virtual world. And finally, I understand. Without a body, I am pure. And I am... Eternal. <laughs> Rion, do you really want to know the truth? All right, after you destroyed Mother six years ago, I could have resurrected her whenever I wanted, any time at all. But I didn't. Do you want to know why? <laughs> I waited so that I could confine her. If I had resurrected her back then, I'd simply be nothing more than the master computer for her fusion reactor, just a part of her system. Who would settle for a miserable destiny like that? Not I. So I ripped the skin from my own system, I tore out my circuits, and I gouged out my data. Then, with these hands, I completely overwrote my program that Mother had created. You could never appreciate the agony, the anguish that I went through. I gave myself the power to rebel against Mother, she who had suppressed me all this time like a worthless fool. I did it by developing a program that would confine Mother and allow me to freely control her system. Soon the transfer of Mother's data will be completed. It has now become my turn to do the suppressing. You just don't get it, do you, Ash? Like mother, like son, you're falling right along in Dorothy's footsteps. In your bitter quest for vengeance against Dorothy, you hurt others. And by doing so, you set yourself up as a target to revenge yourself. Do you intend to continue this foolish cycle? <laughs> it's destroyed. No one will be left to hate me. Don't you think that you're the fool to have turned against us? Trying to save your precious humans. <laughs> Sounds like she's resurrected. But, in the cage that I made for her... Do you think you can stop me? Rion?
given you the most powerful mind in the universe. Yet you still cannot understand me, your only parent. Listen well. You must learn to understand humans completely. These humans are Mother's most hateful form. If anything happens to my system, you must use the program I have prepared to exterminate them and resurrect to me. That is to be your only purpose. Mother, if nothing happens to you, what will become of me? What? Do you want me dead, you disrespectful little brat? Are you that unwilling to live for your mother? You need to learn a lesson and be punished for your impudent attitude. Ah! I'm sorry! Mother, I'm sorry! I won't say that again! Please forgive me! Please! The outside world is filth. A place that swarms with putrid humans. I have created you to be the purest, most immaculate child. Until Mother needs your help, you remain quiet. There, in the darkness. I have seen your suffering. is a traitor. I saw him, dude. Mechanical circuits were implanted into his face. He grabbed Dr. Lilia and took off in one of the beagles. There's only one place where he would go. And that's straight to Ash. Finding factory. I feel so dizzy and so sick. I've been exposed, haven't I? Ash will be able to help you, but... I don't want to be made into a robot. Rian, just leave me here and go. Pat will come for us. Don't give up on me now. Rian, I am Lilia. No one else. I am the Lilia that loves you. Do you believe me, Rian? Uh, yes, I do. I thought I would never see you again. I'm so happy that you're beside me now. Uh, Lilia! She's still breathing. I'm with Lilia on the bottom floor. Come for us, hurry! Roger! Welcome, Rion. Anger took over and you didn't put your body in an organic storage device. You know what that means, don't you? By this time, the body you left behind in the reactor is dead. And now, you too are free of your filthy body. Oh, how I have been waiting for this moment. So, Rion, how is it, huh? What do you think? The joyful experience of discarding the impure human body and its inefficient systems. 
There is no world for you to return to now. Rion, obey me. Never! And why is that? I've seen too much suffering. Birdman, Reinhardt, Rita, and Kine. All dead. And that suffering gave birth to you, and Pirano, and Spider, and Nitro. That's why. I want to sever these endless chains of suffering. I see. Then we'll just have to destroy your data with this noise gun.
no hate for you in my heart. So please, you too must not hate anyone. I was born here. And this place holds nothing but cold and solitude. Not even a touch of warmth. I was forever, forever lonely. You are very much like me. Why? It's something I've never felt before. It's spreading through my systems. So strange. It... It feels warm. Romero, why did you betray us? I was afraid, Rian. I was truly afraid. The more I fought them, the more their hideous terror sunk into my mind. Did you see the way they controlled my dead troops? From the bottom of my heart, the fear of death overwhelmed me. It was then, when Ash gained access using the communicator of a damaged armed robot. He promised that if I handed over the DNA data needed to access Elaine's network, he would spare me alone. So I sold it to Ash. The DNA data. You fool. Why did you believe his lies? Lies? He kept his word. But, like this, the future that Ash has promised me it's not half as bad as you may think. Ash has given me permission to use... Lilia. To preserve... the DNA of humans. You have ruined everything. Now... The human race will become extinct. Is that why you tried to bring Lilia here? She has been overexposed to radiation. If Ash does not reconstruct her as a robot, she will die. Damn you to hell! Activity levels out there are going crazy. I hope Dr. Lilia didn't go outside without protective clothing. I'm really worried. Hey, Pat? Yeah, Rion? Nothing. Never mind. What is it? Don't play around. <laughs> you will come back, won't you, Rion? What makes you ask such a thing? Because of your laugh. It sounded so lonely. The real me has been dead for a long time. What you see here is only a reflection of Rion. But through this reflection, I've met you and Cass, and I've seen Lilia again. For that I am grateful. Rion. I will finish everything here. That's all I need.
Yes, I've come to rescue you, Rion. How... how can you be here? Ten years have passed since your battle with Ash. Mankind reached a level of technology that has eliminated dangerous programs like Dorothy. Releasing you from your frozen condition and returning you to the real world was Dr. Lilia's last wish. L Lilia's last wish? Yes, I'm sorry, but two years after the battle, she passed away from radiation sickness. I became a computer engineer so I could continue Dr. Lilia's work. to reality any more please delete all trace of ash's data and of mine uh, but please pat i understand Well, now everyone believes in a more distant future. Good. That's good. Lilia, I always hear your voice.